Real news, real issues, real people. It's Ciola Wilson, one on one. What's up, Bermuda Real family? Thanks for tuning in for this, the third and final segment of a three-part series. We started earlier this year with Scars Bermuda, saving children and revealing secrets. Now, at the outset earlier this year, I stated that as a journalist over a period spanning almost 40 years now, I've had to cover some really horrific things in Bermuda, in court, in violence, police, and over the years, I found that my two main pet peeves have to do with the abuse of seniors and our children. And much to my dismay, it runs rampant in Bermuda. It's that dark secret we don't talk about. That's where we're going tonight, to a place of healing. I'm happy to say that scars recently crossed 12,000 protective eyes on our children through certification. I found that my eyes are wide open now since I've been certified. In any case, this is a story that's still ongoing. It's a story of pain, right? And how to get to a place of healing. I would ask if you have young children, young people in the room, you might want to use your parental discretion. Now's the time before I introduce our guest. We're going to take a look at a young man who's now almost 50 years old. I want to give thanks to him for coming forward. We'll start with his story first, right after this. We'll be right back after these messages. Stay tuned. 